going to be getting the Platinum Trophy for Call of Duty 4 by grinding out all 51 of the game's achievements. Unfortunately, this will include beating the hardest mission ever made in a Call of Duty game, which was a genuinely painful experience. Before we get there, though, we first got to beat the entire campaign on the hardest difficulty. What the hell kind of name is Soap, eh? Haha, <laughs> I love that line. The trophy challenges begin instantly with this training course we have to run through and shoot targets as quick as possible. First up, I needed to beat the course in under 19 seconds, which overall wasn't too bad. Yeah, there we go. 17.95, new squadron record. After that though, I then needed to beat a time of 15.1 seconds. Beating this time leaves absolutely no room for error and it requires you to learn the course perfectly. I was in for a seriously rough time. 16.15, that's the best one so far. Oh no, come on, no. No, 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 no. This is it, this is it, this is it, I think. Oh, no! No! What do you mean? What do you mean? After about 45 minutes of attempts, this happened. This is it, this is it. Yes! Come on! Best of the best! Earn a winged dagger. Awesome. With these trophies in the bag, we're then sent on our first proper mission, inspecting a freighter suspected of carrying a dangerous package. I'll tell you what, as I said, I've never played the remastered version of COD 4, and it looks amazing. This mission was actually pretty easy. There was a ton of cover, and the enemies were pretty dumb. But don't you look worry. This ship was just a warm-up, and I'd be in a blender soon enough. The squad eventually finds a nuclear device on the ship, but before we can investigate, the freighter actually gets attacked by enemy aircraft, and we flee the ship just as the title card rolls on by, and we get ourselves a trophy. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. The remaster definitely does it well. Make the jump and the package. Next up is a mission that doesn't really count as a mission. You basically take control of President Al Falani as he's shoved in the back of a car, taken down some streets before being dropped off and unfortunately executed by the first big bad guy of the game, Khaled Al-Assad. Anyway, we're then dropped into our second mission as Soap once again. The objective here is to rescue an allied Russian informant called Nikolai who's been spying on the ultra-nationalist party and actually gave us the information that led us to the nuclear device on the ship in the first mission. Would have been nice to know that the bad guys would happily bomb the ship if we got anywhere close, but I guess that wasn't helpful information. Hey, daredevil. Kill an enemy while blinded by a flashbang. So I did know that one existed. We end up saving Nikolai, but before we can find out what happens next... Dancing in the dark. Complete. And the rescue. We jump back over to the Middle East, where we now take control of a US Marine called Sergeant Paul Jackson as the US Army storms the city to attempt to detain Al-Assad. Woo! No, there's another guy behind me, man. There's people everywhere. No, man! Where have you come from? This was the first mission that truly tested my patience, especially this part where you enter the TV station where you believe Al-Assad is broadcasting from. It's awesome because I know the layout of this map purely from playing MW 2019 and knowing the multiplayer map version of this, so... This should be a breeze in comparison to what we were just doing. You see this guy? He's a complete moron. Because this next room was about to deliver the biggest one-sided ass whooping since the Johnny Depp v Amber Heard trial. Agonizing, painful, and most humiliating. <laughs> <laughs> so many grenades, man. So many. Oh, crap. There's so many enemies in here, man. Oh, my God. Where's the... Na well, where did that... How did that nade fly into the room with me? Eventually, once we've pushed through this death trap, we find that unfortunately, our separatist leader is in fact in another castle. Mamma mia! That's gotta, that's gotta be something new. Anyway, we got the search. As the sun sets, we stay on board with Jackson for a mission to assist a friendly tank that's ended up stranded in enemy territory. I do have to apologize to you guys. I must have just been really tired on the day that I played this because I realized halfway through playing this whole mission that I hadn't clicked record. But because I am your new favorite YouTuber that you've just subbed to, I did restart and record everything from the beginning. Annoyingly though, I did miss this trophy popping up for saving our squad mate on the stairs of this building. The rest of the mission was then decently annoying especially this bit at the end where you get to the stranded tank. Oh, here we go. It's COD 4 map, bog. I don't know why I'm getting so excited. I didn't like this map one bit. 
and you have to push forward through all these enemies to destroy this anti-air gunner. It took me a few tries. These guys have the best shots ever! Come on! Bring them down, boys! Woo! Well done, everybody. Save the bacon. Off to some all-out war, we're then back with Task Force 141 as our helicopter gets shot down, leaving us stranded behind enemy lines. When I entered this barn, my newly found trophy hunting senses were tingling. Oh, I reckon if I save that bloke, I get a trophy. There we go. Man of the people. Save the farmer. Okay. I, I knew I was on to something. I knew I was on to something. To be fair, they made that one pretty obvious, so um, glad I went and got that one. Later on, I stumbled on another accidental trophy. Not this time, bitch. Oh, no rest for the weary. I didn't... I love these free trophies I'm getting. Stab an injured crawling enemy. That's one that could quite easily have slipped out of my grasp for the whole game, so I'm very glad I went and knifed that guy. Ah! I had zero time to react to that dog. Yeah, press circle. I press circle, and the dog still killed me. No, okay, this time... Okay, there we go. Down boy down. Okay, which I assume is survivor dog attack. Awesome. When all the stealthy bits were over, the end of this mission featured one of my most hated enemies in the entire campaign. Let's just call him Helicopter Man. No, the helicopter is so strong. It keeps getting me, man. You see, not only does Helicopter Man have the same aimbot accuracy that all of the other enemies have on Veteran, as we've seen, but he also finds you no matter where you're hiding, and he also kills you disgustingly quick. Ha! The helicopter. Where, where do I hide from this helicopter, man? I'm actually going to lose my mind. Four of a kind? What is that? Oh, I'm dead anyway. Kill four enemies in a row with headshots in a single player campaign. Once again, complete luck I get that one. I've actually got some, some cover above me now, which is helpful. No! No, he came again! Eventually, I pushed through and the payoff was glorious. That's it. I want to watch this. Come on! That is the most satisfying kill in an FPS I have ever done. The follow-up mission to this places us actually in an AC-130 bomber, which is awesome, where we have to help out Soap and Task Force 1 for 1 to escape the area. This was one of the easiest missions in the game because we couldn't actually die. It was all about just trying to protect the squad as they were moving. And I even lucked out with this easy trophy here for annihilating a group of enemies. Pretty hard to miss. Straight flush. Kill five enemies with one shot while in the AC-130. Pretty simple. Death from above. Operate an AC-130 gunship. Back on board with the Marines, the sun's come up, and we have to escort that tank that we saved earlier towards an extract point. I've got to say, I really didn't like this mission at all, and not even just because of the difficulty, but mainly just because it was really boring. There were just so many enemies in so many windows that kill you almost instantly and appear in the most random scenarios as well. Who's he shooting at? The bloke came up behind me with a pistol. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Ah. Oh, roadkill. Kill two enemies by blowing up a car. I just found myself not really moving very much. You essentially just run down one street towards the extract. Not much more to say on this one. Probably the worst mission in the game so far. Let's get on. We got the bog, which we get for completing the bog and war pig on veteran. The Marines then head to yet another city where this time they hope they're going to find Al-Assad. Spoiler alert, he ain't there. He's long gone. But anyway, we ride in mounted up on this helicopter turret. Holy... And then we're good. Oh, RPG on the roof. Oh, and there's a guy to mounted turrets. We've got mounted turrets, tanks, and all sorts of stuff. Okay, this is way harder than I thought it was going to be. I managed to get my hands on this trophy for killing 20 enemies with explosives in a single level. Oh, explosion, man. What was that for? Kill 20 enemies with explosives in a single level. What? How do I die this quick? The mission ends with us witnessing probably one of the craziest moments in Call of Duty campaign history. Everyone, hang on. Oh, I forgot about this. 
I genuinely forgot about this. Yeah, I completely forgot that actually happens in this game. The first horseman. Complete shock and awe on veteran. It's not often you see an instant aftermath of a nuclear explosion. Oh, this is brutal, man. Ah, uh, rest in peace, Jackson. Thank God we don't have to play another marine mission again. Luckily, we do get to get revenge pretty quick because Nikolai delivers intel on the location of Alassad's safe house. Unfortunately, in typical Nikolai fashion, he doesn't actually tell us which building the safe house is, so we have to go and check every single one. This mission can honestly eat my entire asshole. What? Oh! oh. The nades! No! Oh, there's so many! Not in this building either. This is insane. How many how many places are we gonna go? Move! Oh come! On. I just wanna be done with this level. It sucks. Oh god. This is this I can't actually do it, man. There are so many enemies. After clearing five completely pointless buildings, we find Alassad held up in his safe house. Oh, we got him! Yes! Come on! We beat him up a bit, get some information out of him, and find out he isn't even the main bad guy of this campaign. I guess you're not needed anymore. Oh boy. Wrong number. Find Alassad's safe house. And the second horseman complete safe house on Vetrum. Turns out this dude, Imran Zakayev, was actually funding Al-Assad to draw attention away from his plans of an uprising in the East. And this isn't Price's first run-in with Zakayev. This brings us to arguably one of the most franchise-defining missions ever, All Gillied Up. We're thrown into the past as we need to sneak our way through downtown Pripyat. 50,000 people used to live in the city. Now it's a ghost town. This mission's still incredible to play, and it's easy to see why it's so legendary. The stealth, the atmosphere, the incredibly tense moments. Man, this mission is nuts. This is insane how close they get. No, mate, don't go near me. Oh, there's a tank coming for me. No. <laughs> how are we spotted, man? The important part was that this mission held a trophy I did not want to miss. So I know that there's actually a trophy in this mission for completing it without getting spotted by any enemies. So I'm going to try and do that on the first run so we don't have to come back and do it later. Nothing to see here, boys. Nothing to see here. Where's McMillan? Work as a team, remember? Wait for me. Well, you're not doing it quick enough. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Why'd you go that way? Also, you are not hidden. I don't know how you haven't been spotted, mate. Look, dude, you can get up now. Oh, Jesus, that was insane. He fell so far. Gilly's in the mist. Woo. That's uh, completing all gillied up without alerting any enemies, as I said earlier. Once we've snuck through, we make it to this Overwatch point for the next mission. One that brings players face to face with Zakaev for the first time and unexpectedly shows that COD sniping can actually be realistic. If this was Modern Warfare 2, I'd 100% be jumping off this building and YY360 no scope in this trash kid. No, get the Interestingly here, guys, there's actually two people we want to shoot. There's Imran Zakayev, who should rock up any second. I think he's in this car. But there's also this guy in this car back here, which is actually Makarov from Modern Warfare 2, the game after this one. And by killing him here, Modern Warfare 2 basically never happens. So there's a cool trophy you get for it. I'll show you in a second. I missed. I've missed. Oh, I missed. Okay, we'll try again. <laughs> Let's go for it. Oh, I've hit some guy in the leg. Oh, we've missed him again. Oh, we got him. Oh, now we need to hit this guy in the, in the back here. Shoot at him. Yeah, there we go. Time paradox. Awesome. So that is kill Makarov and complete your mission. After the previous mission's lovely break from the constant aimbots, the game just rebounds with this bullshit filled mission that I was going to have to complete if I was going to get this platinum. Oh, and now it's back to the painfulness of veteran where we actually have to shoot people and they shoot back. Oh, no. Dead again. Oh, I died really, really quick. Jeebus. Jeebus creepers. Oh, reinforcement denied. What was that for? 
Oh, killing three repelling enemies in a single rope. Oh, if I thought that first bit was bad, it was about to get so much worse. Oh, God. Oh, no. What have we done? Macmillan. Oh, no. What have you done, pal? You're gonna have to carry me. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, my God, no. There's people behind me as well. Why did you have to get crushed by a helicopter? Oh, where was that dog? That dog was just hiding somewhere. Oh, hello. This guy changes corner every time I go round. There's two guys this time. There's not two dogs. There's two men. <laughs> This bit at the end of the mission where you have to hold out against infinite waves of enemies is infamous for being almost impossible on veteran. Holy crap, here they come. Little do you guys know, I'm a sucker for cheesy strategies and I had one up my sleeve to preserve my sanity in this section, sort of. Okay, I am gonna cheese this a little bit. I'm gonna get in this hut and uh, we're basically just gonna go prone and hold here. This is basically a good way you can just cheese this bit of the game because I don't want to sit here and do this bit while the helicopters come in 20 times. It would be quite funny for the video probably, but uh, I'm trying to get a platinum, so let's just get this done with, okay? We've just got to hold until that heli comes. Oh, that I almost died there. There's so many grenades being chucked at this, but I don't think the grenades can actually get in this little shed. McMillan, come on, come on, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh my god, we're doing it. Get on, get on, get on, get on! Yes, come on! Come on! That's meant to be one of the worst bits in the game. And it only took me like three or four tries. Thank god to all you nerdy people who know the cheesy strategies. <laughs> Piggyback ride. Carry Captain McMillan to safety. And the shot for all gillied up and one shot, one kill on veteran difficulty. Let's go. Back in the present day, the theme unfortunately continues with a mission where we're once again holding out against never-ending waves of bad guys that are just coming to beat my ass. Silver lining with this mission though, I did end up taking off a bunch of hidden trophies. Okay, I know there's another hidden trophy in the top of this church. You will see a load of RPGs. I think if we shoot the enemies down below. Oh, there we go. The man in the high tower, which we get for using the hidden cache in heat. Oh, this is nuts. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Oh, here come the helis. Oh, oh we're taking them all out. Let's go. Oh, bird on the ground. What's that for? Shoot down a helicopter with an RPG in the single player campaign. Oh, and fly swatter. Another one? What the? <laughs> Destroy eight enemy helicopters in heat. Oh, so that's all of the helicopters in the level. Oh, God, I called in an airstrike on my own head. Not clever. Let's go, go, go. We move the airstrike. Oh, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Let me in. Oh, there we go. In the next mission, we're actually going off to Zakaev's son to get some vital intel on his location. Does not go well, though, because apparently this guy's Usain Bolt, and he just runs off before we can get our hands on him. Oh, are you running? Get your ass back here, boy! Why are you running? Eventually, we managed to catch up with him. No! Oh, that was very predictable. Oh, bloody hell. Desperate measures. Corner, Zakev's son, and third horseman for completing heat, and sins of the father on veteran. So after that completely pointless mission, the next one wasn't much better. We head towards Zakev's suspected location, shoot a few bad guys, blow up an entire power line. Okay, that was pretty cool. Then took out some more bad guys, apart from this guy who obviously isn't RPG trained. I guess that guy had enough. As soon as we approach the military base, Zakev launches two missiles on Amazon Prime, same day delivery, straight to the US. Oh, that's not good. Shit just got real. He probably would have only shot one if we hadn't made his son blow his brains out. Post commentary me's just gonna shut up now so you can go grab some popcorn and watch me from the past lose his fucking mind trying to complete this. 
Oh, yeah, RPG. Get out of the... Move! I don't have any smokes. How am I meant to do this now? This is impossible without smokes because the tanks will just shoot me because they're tanks. If I wait till the tank comes near here... Get out of my way, get out of my way. Oh, that's gonna get rid of one. Oh, I don't know how that worked. Plant some C4 on that armor. Do you know what I actually love? AI fucking squad mates telling me to do the stuff that I know I have to do. It's just hard. Go plant the C4. Oh my god, it's so easy. Why didn't I think of doing that? Thanks, Price. It's right here. I can do it. I can do it. There we go. Sweaty hands. Sweaty hands. Nine minutes? Oh, fuck. Oh, this is going to be bad. There's people everywhere. There's people everywhere. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The time limit makes this so much worse. No, no, no! Oh, he actually pushed me! He's a madman! How much do I lose there? In t oh my god, I go all the way back here. Wow, there's not many checkpoints. I thought my teammates killed that guy! They're so useless. They're just so useless. I may as well be here on my own. At least then I wouldn't get caught on them when I'm trying to go around corners and shit. If you come around a corner and they start shooting you, the recoil and the shit all over the screen just makes it so you can't kill them. Oh, that was so close! I mean, what is this? This is just a co It's just one corridor. Oh, have I not killed a guy there? No, they're pushing me. No, they push these The AI is so smart. They push you when you're fighting for your fucking life. <laughs> this fucking level stinks. No, oh no. Come on, I don't want to die again. Oh! Wait, there's a guy behind me. You die from every angle in this level. Just every single little fucking rat. The need! Ah! Oh. Here we're going. Oh my god, have we done it? This must be almost the end of the level. Oh, have we done it? I think we've done it. I think that's the mission. Fuck me. That was hard. Oh my god. The ultimatum, which is completing ultimatum all in and no fighting in the war room on veteran. Holy fucking shit. There's only one thing left to do now, and that's finish Zakaev. So we jump in a vehicle for a good old fashioned car chase before we unfortunately get a bridge blown up in our face. This is it. This is the last stand. Give it to me, Price. Later, Stumpy. Bitch! Oh, wait, there's more enemies. <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. Boom! The fourth horseman, complete game over on veteran difficulty. Win the war, complete the game on any difficulty. And deep and hard, complete the game on hardened or veteran difficulty. Bit of a sus name for a trophy, but based on how I feel right now, aptly named. The next job was to go and get all of the miscellaneous trophies. And luckily I could also switch to the easiest difficulty in the game for all of these. Luckily I was actually able to bang out three in one run through of the first mission where I'd get trophies for knifing three enemies in a row, completing a level only using a knife and not reloading for a whole level. Oh my god, you can take so many bullets on this difficulty, it's insane. Look how stupidly easy this is. Can I even die? Okay, there we go. Three of a kind, which we get for killing three enemies in a row with a knife in a single-player campaign mission. 
That's insane that anyone would play on that difficulty. Anyway, Retro Shooter, which we get for completing any level without reloading your weapon. And Master Ninja, completing any level only using your knife to kill enemies. I quickly jumped back into the same level to get five kills with the Desert Eagle that an enemy drops for another easy trophy. Hey, there we go, Desert Storm. Next up, back to the first Marine mission, we have to shoot all of the TVs showing Alassad's speech through the whole level. This one was actually quite nerve-wracking because there's about 50 TVs, and if you even miss a single one, the level still ends, and you just have to start all over from the beginning again. Lucky for me, I got it first try. There we go. In the Bog mission, I had to kill all four of these tanks on the overpass with the Javelin before they drove off. Okay, this should be it. Come on. There we go, feel the heat, which we get for killing all four tanks on the overpass with the javelin. We then headed back into All Gilly Dup, where I first had to grind out 20 knife dog kills by killing these three dogs at the start and then just reloading the checkpoint each time and repeating. Oh, there we go. Dogs, I hate dogs. I then stayed in the same mission and used the stinger in the church to shoot down this helicopter. Oh, is that it? Oh, I died, but I still got it. Man versus machine. Alert the enemy helicopter and take it down. As well as progressing all those small miscellaneous trophies, I was also progressing some bigger ones that span the whole game. First up were intels, which are these collectible laptops. There's two or three in every level. You get one trophy for finding half the intels and another for finding all 30 of them. Eyes and ears, which we get for finding all 30 enemy intels. Thank God. God, that actually took so long, even though we were on recruit. The other big trophy I was progressing was the Weapon Master trophy for getting at least one kill with every weapon in the campaign. After jumping through levels with weapons that were unique specifically to those levels, I stumbled on the trophy pretty quick. Oh my god, we got it. Weapon Master. Thank god I thought that was the last gun. Get a kill with each type of handheld gun, explosive, and launcher in the single player campaign. That one is a grind. This leaves us with only one challenge left the platinum, and this is where it goes downhill. Okay, hardest level in the game, Mile High Club. I've been told countless times that this is absolutely horrible. Have I already got 25 seconds left? What the? Okay, that timer is going to be a problem. Okay, okay, okay. I get it now. Okay, two blokes come down the stairs. Both gun me down in about a split second. Oh, I flashed myself. No, I flashed myself. Oh my god, we got 10 seconds. Okay, we made it to the stairs. That's the furthest we've got. Oh, there's another on the stairs. Sometimes he comes down. Sometimes he waits. I ran out of ammo. 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 Oh, I was actually doing it there. Pushes up, he gets me the time, man. No, you got in my way, you fuck! Oh, yeah, melee me, you fucking pussy. No one was stunned. Not a single one of them. There's another friend! Oh, the good! The worst thing here is that eventually the rage subsided and instead I just got really sad that I was getting this close to the platinum. I just want to complete this now, I'm bored. No, my gun isn't reloaded, my gun isn't reloaded. Even though I pressed the reload button about 20 times, man. But just as I was about to give up. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I, I need to not mess this up, I need to not mess this up. That's it, that's it, alright, that's it. Please, 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 please. Is that everything? Is that everything? That's it, right? I just jump off the plane. There's not like some way I can die here or anything, is there? Oh! My white club! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Skydive to safety on veteran. And, as soon as I press this button... Just another day at the office! Oh my god, I've done it! Oh, the platinum. That's my first ever platinum. I'm not kidding, guys. That was the hardest level I have ever played in an FPS game. I just locked in and I got it. If you've made it to the end of the video, guys, then please do like and subscribe down below. Oh my god, I can't believe we've just done that. Let me know down in the comments what game you want me to platinum next. Spoiler alert, it's not going to be another COD. Honestly, fuck this game.